So they did it. Those bastards actually did it. TBC Classic got announced a couple of days ago at BlizzCon Online. While there have been some leaks here and there, I wasn't completely sure they were gonna do it, but it seems like they will. Today we will be covering all the things we know so far about TBC Classic, including some changes, how the content will be released, state of the servers, etc. Quick note before we start, to celebrate it seems now TBC Time Walking is finally back next week so you can get your Warglaves of Azinoth Transmog. Got a video for it if you're interested for a quick way to farm them. Let's begin. First things first, let's talk about how the content will be released. Before the actual expansion launches, we will be getting a pre-patch which will unlock the Draenei and Blood Elves so you can level them up to 60 and be ready to head into Outland with everyone else. Similar to Vanilla Classic, the content will be released in phases, 5 phases to be exact. All the raids and PvE stuff seems to be locked in, though in an interview Blizz did say that the arena season dates are still uncertain so that is still to be announced. In the first phase we'll be getting 3 raids, Karazhan, Gruul's Lair and Magderidan's Lair. In phase 2 we get to face off with Lady Wash and Kael'tas Sunstrider in Serpentshire Cavern and Tempest Keep, while in phase 3 we get the Battle of Mount Hyjal in the Caverns of Time and we get the Black Temple. Then in phase 4 we get Zulaman and finally in phase 5 we get the Sunwell Plateau. The release schedule is nothing surprising, something we could have figured out easily before. What is even more important is that everything will be starting at the 2.4.3 patch, so we are not exactly going straight from zero. That means that all itemization, talents, spells, etc. will be as they were in 2.4.3, which as you might know is the last patch of the expansion. This will also mean that the boost to experience and lowering the level requirement for mounts from 40 to 30 is something that will probably be there at launch. Also important to say is that Blizzard did note that they will try making the raid bosses as close as possible to their pre-nerf versions, so even though everything is 2.4.3, they are likely to be tougher than they were back in the actual 2.4.3. Alas, as much as hashtag no changes was a strong rallying cry for a lot of classic supporters, there were still some changes added throughout classic World of Warcraft. For better or for worse, they were there and now we seem to be getting some changes right from the get-go of TBC. For starters, Alliance Paladins will be getting the Seal of Blood. If you don't know, in the original TBC, this was the first time Paladins were added to the Horde. The Paladins mostly had the same spells except for Racials and two Seals. Alliance had Seal of Vengeance and the Horde had Seal of Blood, which was just a better spell overall. As such, if you wanted to play a Paladin, it just made more sense to play on the Horde if you didn't wanna be held back. Well, in TBC Classic, Blizzard are giving the Seal of Blood to Alliance players too so they will be on par with their horde counterparts. Another pretty big change is the modernization of the looking for group tool. It was originally added in 2.0 but it's severely outdated when you compare it to today's LFG tool we got in retail. To clarify, they made sure to state we will not be getting the automatic grouping, so don't worry about people just queuing for dungeons and chilling in Shatrath all day long. If you play Mythic Plus in retail, you will know what I mean. They want to modernize it to be similar to that, so maybe incorporating some elements from it, but definitely no queuing. There are some changes also coming to the arena team systems. In TBC you can make arena teams and these teams would have a rating. It used to be that, for example, in a 5v5 team you could only have 5 players on the team. So for 2v2 you could have 2 players and for 3v3 you could have 3 players on your team. To clarify, these teams are not the same as parties. They are changing this in a pretty good way by doubling the capacity of a team. So a 2v2 team can have 4 members, 3v3 can have 6 members and 5v5 teams can have 10 members. This is in case someone in the team is busy or just not online at the moment. Arenas will also be region wide. They are also considering changing the drums of battle which require leather working to use but can be essential in raiding. What type of change is not certain at the moment but we will know soon enough. So this is probably the most important decision about classic TBC and it's this. When the pre-patch for TBC drops, there will be a snapshot of sorts of every character on every realm. When your game is done updating and you log in to your character, you will be given a choice of three options. First one is choosing to stay on the realm and doing nothing, waiting out the patch and eventually the server will progress to TBC naturally. 
Second choice is transferring the character to a classic era realm, which means going to a realm that will stay in classic vanilla forever at phase 6. Or 3, you can pay to have your character copied. This basically means paying to have your character stay on your realm for TBC while also copying it to a classic era realm. The payment amount is still unknown. Note that Blizzard has stated that there will be no gold cap for any transferring or copying you plan on doing, so don't worry about losing your gold. <laughs> oh boy, we're getting paid services in TBC Classic. But don't worry, there is also another paid service coming. Paid boosts. Yes, the leveling boosts are coming to TBC Classic, but with a few caveats. They won't be usable on Classic Era Realms, they will not work on Blood Elves or Draenei, and also they will only be allowed once per World of Warcraft account date for TBC Classic. All we know is that we are getting it somewhere during 2021. In the meantime, you can opt in for the beta. And that's all we know so far. Quite a bit of news, I will be sure to keep you posted for the new stuff. For now, thank you very much for watching, I hope you are hyped for TBC as I am, and I will see you in Outland. Peace.